Hey guys, I'm Fenda. As your empowered guide in business, fitness, and fragrance, I wanted to do a little twist today of something that I grew up eating uh, when it comes to nutrition. People, a lot of people think that nutrition is a little boring. It's so far from the truth. Here's a dish that I grew up eating called potato leaf uh, in Sierra Leone. It's healthy. It's loaded with so many, uh, I would say, vitamins and minerals. I can't list all of them right now, so I'm gonna put them down in the description. But the one thing it's packed with is iron. My little boy, he loves it. So guys, I'm gonna make it for you guys today without all the oil that I'm used to, like, you know, the all the, the I'm using olive oil with the palm oil, which is not that healthy for you. I know. So come along with me. I'm gonna start this dish. Awesome. I'm gonna do the first one. This is what it looks like. This is literally sweet potato leaf, okay? I know a lot of people like within the, here in the US, you guys really are not familiar with this, but trust me, it's amazing. I'm gonna do two of them. It's actually a tedious kind of process to get it ready. I gotta open it up and individually wash them, then cut it up. And kind of take it from there. So I'm starting the process now of washing the leaves. As I said before, it can be tedious, but it's worth it. So I have to pick these out individually to see which one's best. And kind of, yeah, as I said, kind of just picking through getting a handful of them. That's why I buy two packs, guys. That's why I buy two packs. Because I lose a lot of it, just in case if any rodent rabbit ate it or there's a hole inside of it that I really don't want. So I will kind of discard it. So guys, tell me, when it comes to nutrition, do you think that it's something that's a little bit more tedious or is it something you just like to have fun with? I think that nutrition should be fun because I'm a foodie. My family, we love food. Absolutely love going out to eat or not even going out to eat so much. I like trying new dishes. I like trying new things that I can make at home. Anywhere I can save money, I will do that. But I just love showing you guys how to live better and how to make it easier, to make it much easier. This dish is not easy. I want to say I'm going to make it easier for you, but this dish is by far easy. So I am getting into this labor now. Okay, I'm going to cut it. Okay, so I'm going to cut the stems off a pretty good amount because I don't need that part at all. I'm using the cutting board. Growing up back home, we tend to cut it this way and cut it down, but I'm not doing that today. I'm gonna to use, I'm gonna use a cutting board for that. More stem. I don't need all of this. Take that off. Okay. Fun part. It's also a stress reliever. Awesome. You know, from as early, I think maybe 17 or 15, I'm gonna say 15 years old, I started actually eating my dishes a little healthier. My mom would make separate dishes for my father. Of course, for health purposes, his doctor told me he has to eat healthier. So I saw the dishes that she was making for him. And I'm like, hey, I wanna eat like that too. So I started eating like that since I was a teenager. So it's just become a part of my life. As I mentioned before, I just like my nutrition and fitness being more fun, a lot more fun and something that actually where you can just incorporate in your life no matter where you are. Watch out for the knife. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do this for all of them, including 
pulling the second pack, cutting it up finely. Have you ever had potato leaf made with olive oil? Comment down below, let me know. It's a world of a difference, a lot of difference. When I was a certified nutrition counselor, I learned so much about trans fats, and a lot of that are in certain oils. I mean, yeah, it makes the food taste amazing, but you don't want all that stuff in your body. It's not like I don't eat palm oil ever. I do eat it when I'm home, when I go visit my family, my parents, but when it comes to me making dishes that my love likes, our son loves this ball too. I, and he loves, loves, loves my traditional dishes. So I try to make it a little bit easy on the heart. Okay, so the tedious labor intensive part that's over. There's the potato leaf. Look, look, look. So now I'm going to cut up like all the veggies I need. Our dish is usually very simple. African dishes are simple because you're supposed to taste the love we put in it. So I'm using bell peppers. I don't know if I'm going to use two, maybe one and a half, but definitely all of these. And then to spice it up, we use habanero. So I'm going to chop this up, prepare that for the dish. So yeah, let's go. First, I got to wash it. First, let me wash it. So last time I prepared it, I used two bell peppers. It wasn't bad, but I think I just might use just one and a half for today. Put this aside. I gotta have it. I ain't even playing. Got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing. Got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. Never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow when I move fast. And that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. Okay, so all the labor-intensive cutting part is done. My chicken's done. Veggies are done. Potato leaf, of course, is done. So now I'm using olive oil. Should I be showing this? I'm gonna show this. It's Wegmans brand olive oil, so my family uses. Okay, that's already in here. To be honest with you guys, I don't really measure. I think it's an African thing. We don't really measure. I, really, I can't really tell you, okay, that you add this, it's a half a cup or the other half a cup. I'm just going to put down exactly everything I use and try to give you as close as possible to the measurements that I use. But I'm using olive oil now. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to saute all my veggies are in here. So my garlic, bell peppers, onions, they're all in here. I want to saute that. And then I'm going to add the chicken. It's going to cook for about a good... 30 minutes after doing that.
the finale, the finale. Look at this beauty. Look at that. Looks amazing, right? So now it's time for me to serve. I already have some rice that's already prepared. put you guys on light put you guys on light look at this mm, I wish you can smell it or even taste it the best part about this meal time to dig in time to dig in guys thank you for checking this out as I said, I love creating food that is healthy, taking any kind of food that you're used so to. Good. There's always a way. I like the salad. Oh, there's always a way that you can make nutrition fun for you and your family. And it's so spicy and I can't believe the flavor. Wow, thank you. That's amazing. Hey guys, I'm I Michael. And I can't believe you taste the flavor of it. It's so tasty, so delicious, and so good. And I can't believe the flavor of it. And and I can't believe the salt of it inside of it, the flavor. Bye.